Hey friends, I am back in Cancun staying at the Marriott Hotel located in the hotel zone. This video takes you around the property including the beachfront, pool, and restaurants so you can know what to expect when staying at the Marriott Cancun. Let's get into the video. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I am Tina Perez and if you're new here, I am a travel blogger based in New York City and today I am in Cancun, Mexico, but we have arrived to our room. The lobby space is absolutely gorgeous and we have an ocean front room and it's just beautiful. So then let me show you what our room looks like and I'll show you the rest of the property. So we have our room, we face the ocean, and there are two beds. They have some water bottles, some snacks for us. A really nice surprise with some wine, some bread, and some snacks, which is super sweet. And then I have to show you guys the view because it's my favorite part. We have a awesome ocean front view. You can see all of the umbrellas here. And then this is the Marriott pool and the beachfront is so cool. I can't wait to get in the water. And so the Marriott is located right, right in the middle of the hotel zone and it is not an all-inclusive hotel. So I'm going to see how much the food and beverage ends up being so you can gauge how much you would actually be spending at a non-all-inclusive resort in Mexico. So first we are going to head to the beach Probably get a cocktail, relax in the sun. I'll show you what the pool and beach area looks like and let's head to the beach. So this is the courtyard. All of the rooms are located over here. We started off our morning enjoying the beachfront to take in the sun and the waves. You can either opt to hang out by one of these beach chairs, but we are actually gonna go to a pool day, um, which is right up there. You can see there's like um, an, a higher level pool and they also have a swim up bar. So we're gonna get a cocktail. We are going to sit by the pool and then there is the swim up bar. We got our Aperol spritzes. They look so good. And it came out to 500 pesos, which is 26 US dollars. Some lunch right at the pool. And this is the menu. It's Mexican dishes. And the items, the majority of the items are around 10 to 15 dollars. Guacamole. Mm. Looks good. So we just finished up lunch. It ended up being around $66. Appetizer, two entrees, and two margaritas. We are now headed to a pasta making class at the JW Marriott. It seems that the hotels are connected through like a little pathway. So it's really easy to get to. And we are gonna learn how to make pasta. So we have made it to the pasta making class. This is the setup and we are gonna learn how to make pasta. It's so adorable and we have everything set up. It's $35 a person and you can make a reservation at the concierge desk 
at least 24 hours in advance and it operates every single day so when you're either here at JW or the other Marriott you can take part in this class so let's get started uh, semolina this is the same with only a little bit coarser mm. and 300 grams of uh, flour just with flour plain all-purpose flour pasta is one of the simplest kind of get used to the texture that you're, look, you're looking for let's combine all our dry So during the cooking class, you get to learn how to make the pasta, which is made up of semolina flour, flour, and eggs. And you basically mix everything together until it makes a perfect dough. Once the dough is made, you will flatten it out through a machine several times. It's crazy how much dough actually gets made through a small portion. And if you're making this at home, you can use a rolling pin to have the same effect. Once we got the dough ready, we learned how to make multiple kinds of shapes of pasta, including ravioli, some penne, and some tagliatelle. This is taking place at Gustino's, which is a restaurant located in the JW Marriott. It's an Italian restaurant, so you can opt for this class if you're staying at the Marriott or the JW Marriott. It's $35 a person. So we made a few different shapes. These ones were a bit more challenging. Samples, so a little fun class. We also made some taglitelle, and it's just drying over here. And tomorrow we have reservations at the restaurant, so we'll be able to eat what we made in class today. For dinner, we went to Mikado, which was a part of the Marriott Resort, to try some hibachi grill. So we have made it to dinner. Mikado, which is their hibachi Japanese restaurant, and we are sitting right in front of the grill, so we're yeah. gonna have a fun show for margarita or a drink, and we're gonna have dinner. Yes. Just view of the sunset tonight. It's so beautiful. Once seated for dinner, we were amused by our chef who made our plates right in front of us. There were a lot of shows happening, including a lots of fire. Oh wow. <laughs> You're ready? Oh wow. One, two, three. Oh my god. Whoa. We ordered the shrimp and vegetable fried rice for our meal. We also started with some sushi. Everything here was really delicious and I love the fact that they cook everything right in front of you. It was like a dinner and a show and it was super fun. So our food is out. We had the fried ri the fried rice. We had shrimp, and it comes with vegetables. You get a soy sauce. You know, this is good for our beef, and it's good for seafood and vegetables. Just enjoying. It was so fun to watch the show, and it's a big portion. And I believe this is twenty-two U.S. dollars. We ordered some matcha ice cream. It's like our favorite flavor lately. We went to the breakfast buffet at Sasi Thai. At night, this is a Thai restaurant, but during the morning, it is the breakfast buffet. You can opt for a buffet plate or you can order a la carte off the menu. I took a look around to see what was good, but I ended up ordering off the menu. I ordered the Eggs Benedict off the menu and you opted for the breakfast buffet. We have plenty of options, but I really wanted Eggs Benedict and it looks really delicious. So I'm going to zig in. So we just finished breakfast, but we are actually checking out of the Marriott and we're headed just right next door to the JW Marriott, which will be a separate video. I will leave it here when it's finished. So if you want to continue on the story, you can check it out right there. A fun time at the Marriott. The Marriott has one large pool and they have a fun like Tulum inspired Saka Bay Beach Club, which during our visit was actually closed for renovation, but it's usually open every single day and it has a really cute vibe. I'm, and then because this is done all inclusive, I will just go over how much we actually spent while we were here. So this morning's breakfast was 42 US dollars. We had dinner at the Hibachi Grill, which ended up being around one fifth. We did get four martinis, which 
made the price go up a little bit more but the entrees were around like 22 us dollars and for lunch at the pool it was around 60 us dollars so it ended up being 250 dollars for two people for one day but i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one be sure to subscribe to my channel for more travel videos and me wandering around new york city as always i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys at the jw marriott bye